friends, hello, welcome back once again. Another video. Yes, I am as shocked as you are. If you've not been here before, welcome back to our little unboxing channel. If you enjoy, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I do try to reply to every single one. Today's video is a box I completely forgot about. <laughs> what a shock. It is, of course, my Giggle Box, or more commonly known as my Geek Box. Now, before we begin, the standard disclaimer this was sent by my Geek Box to myself. Thank you, my Geek Box. Uh, any opinions I do share are my own and do not represent the company. I have to say that for contractual reasons. For those who were wondering, right? We're not going to waste any time. I think it is the grand price of 19.99. Seems to be the standard price of things these days. And it is, of course, a bunch of items. About five. I could be wrong, although this one feels very heavy, which might mean a lot of graphic novels. Or not. Who knows? We'll push that to there. And we shall begin our little adventure. Before we start reviewing, in the description and maybe in the comments, there will be a little poll and you can vote whether you think this box is amazing, whether it's meh or whether it's absolutely atrocious. I'm going to leave that up to you because of course, I do have a connection to the THG group who run this. So, you yeah, know. Right, we'll begin with... <laughs> a Batmobile car. I have now lost track of how many different Batmobile cars I have and how many Batmobile cars there actually are. Where is this from? Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. It looks like a combination of, I don't know how you describe it, like a really funky looking posh sort of Porsche and some sort of combination with uh, Tim Burton's sort of dark Batman. That Batman from the Tim Burton films, that was awesome. Michael Keaton, best Batman. Argue in the comments, who is the best Batman? And what do you think of emo Robert Pattinson? Because he really does look like he's having an emo phase. So yes, a Batman assorted car. This seems to be like one of the standard things. There's a good weight to it though. I have no idea what these cost, but yes, a Batman car if you're into collecting cars. The next item is the Game of Thrones House Sigil Magnets. Feel like we've had these before. Many, many times. There's the different houses. I never properly got into Game of Thrones. I know. Weird, right? I just didn't get the appeal. But uh, The Wheel of Time is coming out and I can't wait to watch that. So we got Winter is Coming from House Stark. Hear the roar of Lannister. Fire and blood or something of Targaryen. Oh, is this the Fury of Bath... Bath... What? Baratheon? They probably don't say like that. Ah, oh, this is the Fury. Oh yeah, terrifying you, huh? Anyway, magnets. If you want magnets. Next up, we have. It's definitely a Star Trek ship. Don't know which one. And it doesn't give me the information. Does this come out somehow in some amazing way? I do know people keep contacting me and saying, "Hey, do you have that Batman thing?" My thoughts are all of the stuff I don't keep, I might put in one box at the end of the month. Just do a giveaway. Like some of it I'll sell, but the majority, maybe I'll just do a giveaway. Maybe that's something we'll start in January. Hmm, there's a thought. It's a ship. It's actually quite detailed and very nicely made. I do know people who collect these. Me, personally, I don't. And I don't know what ship it is. I've only just got through all seven seasons of Deep Space Nine. What a fantastic show. I grew up on Star Trek Next Generation, but Deep Space Nine, amazing. Like it was just so in depth. Loved every bit of it. Next. Oh, there's a tiny thing. Is it a coin? Feels like it's going to be a coin. It is. It's a coin. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Interesting. I do collect coins. I don't know why. Not like two P's and five P's and oh, look at this 10 P. No, I collect these kind of coins because why not? I've got to collect something. On the back, it looks like Hogwarts, the place of mystical magic. And on the front, we have Hermione Granger, limited to 9,995 worldwide, individually numbered, embossed on both sides, antique silver edition. That's actually really nice. I love these because I like the detail that goes into them. They're usually like 10 to 12 quid or so, which is quite nice. So yeah, that might make a good gift for someone. And finally, we what is this? Oh, it's massive. See, when it's something this big, and I'm trying not to read the label, the one fear that gets me is it might be a mug. Now, don't get me wrong, mugs are useful. I'm just not a fan. In fact, I hate them because I've had about 10,000 of them and I don't need any more. This thing here is a mug serving a new purpose to grow plants, because why not? Oh, it's not a mug. Well, I am pleasantly surprised. What is this? Oh, it's so heavy. 
Wow. Actually, wow. Hold on. That's... <laughs> That's going to make a present. Uh, we've just seen... What was this house sigil? Stark with the lion, was it? No, it was Lannister, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a candle. I don't know what it smells of. It smells of a candle. But yeah, look at that design. That is one of the heaviest things I've ever seen. Game of Thrones says in the bottom, House Lannister, sculpted insignia candle. That's actually really impressive. I've never seen a candle in one of these boxes before. I know Game of Thrones is huge. Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones is huge. And people love candles. That, I'm well impressed with that. I don't know why I'm so impressed by a bit of wax. But I am. Ooh. So candles, cars, magnets, coins, and random spaceships. That is your box for my geek box for November. Of course, link down below in the description to grab your own. I've been Joe Wallach. I'll be back again very shortly with more stuff. And if there are any boxes you want to see, let me know in the comments or anything. Do you want to see anything reviewed? I don't mind. Let me know what it is. We'll review it. As always, thank you for watching. And I've forgotten my outro again. Oh yes, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. It's quite impressive.